Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Brahmos missile is one weapon which is in service with Indian Air Force, Army and Navy, all three tri-services. The effectiveness of the missile does not need an introduction and so is the cost. Brahmos is a very costly missile. Each unit of Brahmos costs around Rs 15 crore and the percentage of indigenous content is 78%. DRDO continues to indigenize the components of Brahmos missile to bring down its cost. In beginning, the percentage of indigenous content in Brahmos was 50%, but now it has reached to 78%. On 22nd January 2024, the Times of India has reported that one of the lab of DRDO, which is DMSRDE, in full form defense material and stores research and development has succeeded in developing indigenous fuel for Brahmos missile. The fuel will be used in the missile's liquid ramjet engine and its testing has started. One of the features of this fuel is that it will not freeze even in very low temperature ranging from minus 50 to minus 55 degrees. At present, this fuel is imported from Russia and once the fuel completes its trial, this can be sourced from indigenous firms and it will drastically bring down the cost of missile. Talking about Brahmos missile, it is a medium range ramjet supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarine, warship, fighter jets or from land-based battery. It is the fastest supersonic cruise missile in the world and in true sense, the Brahmastra of India. The missile is powered by a solid rocket booster in first stage, which is produced by EEL, a subsidiary of Solar Industries. The second stage of missile is powered by liquid ramjet engine by Russia. Brahmos Aerospace is also in discussion with Russia for the TOT of the ramjet motor for its local assembly. The Brahmos missile is 78% indigenous and the aim is to increase its percentage to 95% after the local manufacturing of ramjet motor. The initial version of Brahmos had a flight range of 290 km. It can carry a conventional warhead weighing from 200 kg to 300 kg cruising up to an altitude of 15 km and terminal altitude as low as 10 meters. The liquid ramjet is the second stage, takes the missile closer to Mach 3 speed in the cruise phase. The missile is not known to be interceptable by any known weapon system in the world. In January 2022, India officially declared the test launch of Extended Range Brahmos missile or Brahmos ER. Though the range of extended range Brahmos is not officially declared, various reports indicate that the range of this missile is more than 450 kilometers. In 2022, India had conducted multiple trials of land, air, and warship version of Brahmos ER, which also extended in the year 2023, validating the range and accuracy of the new Brahmos missile. India is also working to further extend the range of Brahmos to up to 800 kilometers. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.